All right, we're going to talk through the steps of placing a pigtail catheter chest tube. Um, the first step after identifying the appropriate location, which is the same for a chest tube, uh, is injecting lidocaine. And as you see here, we already have the patient cleaned with chloroprep and sterilely draped for this procedure. Once the lidocaine is in, you then have your finder needle. And you'll see that this technique is basically the same as a central line Seldinger technique. So utilizing the finder needle, you're going to go over the rib, so just as the same as a chest tube. And you're going to aspirate as you get into the chest cavity. You will either feel a rush of air, or if you choose to have some lidocaine still in your syringe, you'll see bubbles come up into the lidocaine. Once you are now in the chest, you'll take your wire and go ahead and thread your wire through your needle. Once your wire is then in the chest, you can go ahead and remove your finder needle. Then take your scalpel and you'll make a small skin incision. The next you have a small introducer or dilator, sorry, and you can use that to do your first dilation. There's also a larger dilator that you can go straight to that and go ahead and twist as you are putting the dilator into the chest wall. You're keeping your wire there in place. So now that you've dilated up, I'll bring that off. And now you'll get your pigtail catheter ready. So you have your smaller dilator, which then goes into your trocar. Okay, you then we'll go ahead and put the small dilator and the trocar into your pigtail catheter. And what this does is give stability to your catheter. You'll go ahead and put this over your wire. And now you can see that you have the holes on the distal tip of your pigtail, just like you would a chest tube. So you want to make sure that you're getting all of those into the thorax. And you're going to go ahead and advance your catheter. And now once you are in the thorax, you can go ahead and advance your catheter and hold your trocar stable. Out comes the wire and the trocar. And now you have your chest tube in place. You can go ahead and the kit comes with a blue cap. So that can just cap off your chest tube. Alternatively, just like our typical surgical chest tubes, you can hook that up to your Pluravac so your assistant can hand that to you. And then you can just suture through the eyelets to stabilize the tube in place and put your typical sterile dressing overlying this. Get a post-procedure x-ray to confirm tube placement.